So we will begin our web session on design sprint and introduction to design sprint today. And it's uh, a 60 minute kind of a web session. Uh, a quick intro about me. My name is David Isaac. Uh, and um, I had the innovation practice in Kubelo um, with, Q with, with QA and Kubelo for the past 10 years, more than 10 years. And been a certified uh, design thinker, design sprint expert from Design Sprint Academy Berlin. Uh, and from Luma Institute, um, been with the service industry for a long period of time, more than 20 years or so, and uh, worked with uh, quite a lot of organizations to redesign their business processes, strategies, um, the product, uh, and even the new product offerings that they are coming up with. Uh, also, I am also certified uh, TRIS Level 3 Master from Matris. Um, which talks about how to innovate in a structured manner. And what we have with us in Kubelo is an integrated approach of um, design thinking, design sprint with uh, innovation. Um, multiple organizations with whom uh, you know we have worked um, and I have been involved. Um, you can look at in, in terms of finance, in product development, back-end, front-end kind of processes, um, which are... Uh, you know, quite prevalent in our uh, space. Uh, our focus for today's web session is um, a quick intro onto design thinking and uh, what design thinking is all about. And um, we will I'll take you through the design thinking aspects uh, which are there. A broad uh, view on design thinking, uh, a plan that we have for today is uh, I will take you through the intro on design thinking on to the design sprints in particular uh, for around 20 minutes or so. And uh, post that, uh, we can look at some quick, uh, you know, question and answer session. And um, I will also showcase some uh, examples, case studies on application of design sprints, uh, with, which we have done with multiple clients here in India and abroad and uh, the quick outcomes that we have seen. So the objective of today's web session is to uh, quickly get a view on what is design sprints, how is it different from design thinking, and uh, what is so very unique in the offerings that we have as a design sprint, what's there for uh, you as an organization, what you can take back, uh, what are the benefits, and a few case studies. So quite packed overall kind of session so let us begin so a quick uh, overview and intro on design sprints as such uh, so for design sprints um, Kublu is associated and partnered with a design sprint academy berlin uh, because uh, you know we, we require a lot of expertise and you see here design sprint academy berlin is uh, one of the premier global institutes who are involved in consulting organizations for design sprints they also train and coach uh, and certify design sprint masters. So the entire bouquet of offerings of a design sprint academy Berlin is available here now in India. Uh, so I will show you the, the approach on design sprints, how different is it and uh, from our normal design thinking approach and some of the other approaches uh, which are there. <clears throat> So essentially, when we say design per se, uh, design does not mean that you know we are talking about an abstract kind of an image or abstract kind of drawings in terms of creativity like the Picasso's. But essentially, uh, the design for us is something that really works, as Steve Jobs mentioned. The design is how it works, so it's a noun. Uh, so we are trying to apply design uh, approaches into our business challenges to get innovative solutions, uh, some quick assessments and other entities. Uh, it all starts from you know, various entities in design thinking and one of the quick uh, you know, examples of design sprints, um, if you look at the design sprint ethos is, um, and which is also true for design thinking is uh, to do and learn. So to observe and quickly experiment with certain things. And the design sprint is a much faster kind of uh, uh, engagement wherein uh, you want to test certain prototypes, certain systems, certain solutions and assumptions in a very fast manner. And you, before you put your whole uh, investments and the whole strength of the organization behind a certain direction, so you want to come up with a new product or a new offering and you want to modify 
you want to embark on a design uh, on a digital transformation journey uh, but you're not very sure that is this going to work is this going to is this design going to work is this solution going to work so a design sprint is very apt uh, wherever you know you want to test certain assumptions you want to test certain solutions there is a fair understanding about the challenge area completely but you want to validate all of this before you go big bang in terms of deployment uh, and one of the examples here is uh, and of course this entity of uh, in design sprints which is also imbibed is the element to discover to go back and see uh, how we are we are creating systems and processes uh, and uh, you know the business models that we have created to engage to engage with our clients uh, so here you have uh, Doug Deeds, who is an innovation architect, uh, was in, uh, with GE Healthcare, and he he was he was very prominent in in designing the CT scan as we look at so the uh, overall design of the body scan as we see, and he was very proud of it and multiple awards he had drawn, and uh, he uh, in order to uh, you know uh, so once it it got deployed in one of the hospitals he was very proud and he wanted to. Uh, you know, showcase that he was one of the creators of this entire design. So he went to an hospital and he was really, uh, and he saw one child being brought to the hospital for the CT scan. And uh, this child looking at this entire, uh, uh, you know, object and the entire architecture within the room got so much afraid that, you know, the child was reluctant to even enter and sit onto the, uh, you know, inspection machine as such for that, uh, that scan to really operate. And uh, so he was really disillusioned is uh, what he thought was a beautiful design that would help human being was actually making people afraid. And that's where he really got an insight. So uh, if you look at design thinking and design sprint is also related to, you know, the design sprint in particular is related to how to gain these insights in a very fast manner in an objective manner is to go back to what we have designed and uh, really see that again. And that's where he saw that, yes, the need is not a solution which is a technical oriented solution but a solution which is human centered so he had to figure out is how do we create these kind of equipments where people it engages the children it engages family members and it's not traumatic as such uh, so he went back to the drawing board and since it was not that he could redesign the entire scan again once again is uh, no, how do we now imbibe this kind of playfulness within the entire design and they created a lot of themes, as you see here in your uh, you know, slide here, is uh, uh, a theme based on uh, a, a journey or being a captain and you are, you are, you are a part of this entire, uh, you know, uh, yacht that is moving through and you are like um, a pirate who is, uh, uh, you know, attacking a certain uh, island. And that's how you would really engage. So he came up with a brilliant solution is, uh, why don't we create this entire episode of experience around this, uh, the human experience around this? And um, what he did is he tried uh, at one or two locations and saw that there it made a brilliant difference to people's emotional uh, experience. Uh, so here in the sprint, again, you will observe that the design sprint is very high paced, the whole objective being uh, to design, to create something new, go back and test and keep on validating and uh, refining your ideas. Um, so he did this and, you know, he came up with multiple themes as I said, this is more to like a, like a garden that, you know, you are entering into a, uh, into an imaginary kind of a garden. And you, so multiple themes, depending on how the children are really behaving. Here is one which is based on uh, an ocean kind of a theme. Uh, so he in, he created all of this and is, is not that so the whole ethos of design sprint is how do you really uh, engage with your clients, uh, with your business lines. And this is exactly what really happens is um, whenever we come up with designs, solutions, for example, we want to migrate certain processes, we want to set up uh, communication links between multiple teams who are misaligned or you want to reduce turnaround times, or you want to come up with product lines which are innovative in nature, which requires multiple teams to collaborate. Uh, many times we create designs which are, uh, you know, solution-wise they are beautiful, but it does not get adopted by the team, essentially because there is something which is not met as a human need. 
and that element of discovery is part of the design sprint so this becomes a starting point of uh, a design sprint so if you look at a design sprint is uh, a human centered approach uh, it's a process it's a human centered process to solve real time problems in an accelerated mode if i may and when we say accelerated it's something like a five day session so the objective of the sprint is to gain insight uh, into various entities and so and uh, if you look at here this is john wetton with whom so john wetton uh, is the founder of design sprint academy with whom we have collaboration and um, uh, he started this uh, so he was engaged with google sprints uh, in his engagements and uh, way back in 2016 when the first design sprints came in and if you look at the jake knapp book on sprint was published uh, slightly later where he talked about his entire engagement so john wetton uh, is engaged with google sprints and multiple other organizations and he has customized this approach of sprint uh, which we at cubeblue are running and with our clients and coaching and conducting workshops so that uh, you have an accelerated kind of a solution design which we uh, have for various clients Uh, so what really happens in a sprint? Uh, so I'll take you to the roadmap. Uh, is in the roadmap, uh, you will observe that uh, it's it's a five-day kind of a uh, engagement wherein you have multiple teams coming together. Uh, the team size could be around seven to eight people, uh, and um, they focus on solving a particular challenge. So what is the prerequisite of a design sprint is you need to have a business challenge. Uh, you need to have prior work to be done before you enter into the sprint. It's not that you just blindly come inside into the sprint. There is a lot of user research or empathy and journeys that you need to really figure out, and the business logic and the business impact that you need to really derive uh, before you would come into a design sprint. Uh, so it's a five days kind of an engagement. It is a sprint to be running, and multiple organizations. are running design sprint uh, you see microsoft uh, in fact we have also worked with microsoft for the design sprints uh, google of course google ventures and others and lego and other the slack is also one of the outcomes of uh, application of design sprints so design sprints are a very high pace kind of uh, you know journeys that they uh, undertake design sprints per se can be of multiple types so essentially they are five day engagement models Uh, and they can look at different kind of sprints you could look at we could have a product design sprint to create a particular product uh, you can have a sprint that we have done for process design process redesign uh, there is also sprints for visioning and strategy building brand sprints brand creation sprints or brand modification positioning sprints so typically the sprints that we conduct here is more to do with business with business processes with it design with product design so you can have a startup which comes in and you want to test your product or your concept within 5 days to just check whether you are on the right track and a 5 day sprint is is really beautiful for these kind of challenges wherein you want to have quick feedback and learning in 5 days so essentially if you look at what is a sprint and how does that really move through a very good example uh, you know we can quote is you know how do we really get ourselves dressed during when we are uh, moving towards office so uh, essentially you would understand what a kind of a day is it is it something that is very formal required are there certain meetings that are required uh, you would ideate to consider various options that are available to you on that particular day uh, you would decide and pick uh, a few for you to really mix and match and then you would prototype it to try out various outfits so that you are able to check is this is this matching or not matching and then you would test that is to go out and really take validation and iterate about what you have learned because then you would also look at reactions which you have from people and how you feel and that's how you would articulate so essentially a design sprint uh, is looking at a six phase kind of an engagement exactly what is Uh, shown here is understand ideate so you understand what are the needs of the client what are the specific needs of the process who the stakeholders are how do you what are the insights that you gain step number 2 to ideate to come up with ideas 
decide to proto to combine multiple ideas into some kind of a prototype and uh, then test the prototype and actually see whether these prototypes are working or not uh, so a five day sprint uh, typically uh, would run through these entire five phases uh, uh, so on monday and essentially a five day sprint is uh, run across a group uh, over a five day period and a dedicated group for around so since it's high pace you need to have a dedicated group it's not that they are uh, doing bau uh, but it's a dedicated team for five days wherein on monday you would understand the challenge areas um, and there are various tools and techniques which are used in the design sprint so you would have something like lightning talks by stakeholders who would come and articulate and explain the challenge areas uh, you would um, the team would then look at how is the challenge area aligned to the long term goal so for example uh, you are trying to uh, identify a means where the client requirements are translated uniformly across multiple teams so multi so lightning talks would really articulate uh, why is this very important and what is really happening the long term goals in understand would focus on uh, how are these this requirement of communication so very important from a business point of view so does that result into rework does that result into uh, into escalations from the client and um, then you come to the design sprints uh, design sprint questions which articulate what are the key elements and outcomes that we would want to meet basically so the outcome criteria is uh, is that you know should it be simple for people to deploy should the processes be automated uh, what is the criteria of success and then you map the entire flow and the process to figure out what is the uh, how might we statement which uh, is used very aggressively in design sprints to frame the challenge uh, from the stakeholders point of view is how might we enable a stakeholder maybe it's a particular manager in a particular team or a particular group uh, to be uh, empowered to be taking decision making in real time so you you would have a how might be so your business challenge area could be how to simplify the process or how to have uniformity uh, but your how might we could be related to an insight that says that how do we enable and empower a certain set of people so this is one uh, you know the uh, on monday these are multiple activities of course the sprint characteristic is it is high paced so you will have lot of time boxing element like in agile so you have very specific times identified and uh, decided beforehand for certain activities to happen and there's a lot of preparation work also to be done uh, but then it's a group comes together and we are the whole focus is not on 100% accuracy on understanding everything but to gain a fair 80 85% understanding within the time set that is given and that is uh, you know so you sacrifice some amount of accuracy for speed as such in the entire design sprint academy uh, in the in the design sprint engagement completely um, so on monday it is more focused on understand on tuesday the day two is where the teams now start working on ideating on on generating ideas and um, you would have lightning demos so essentially it lightning demos is something that uh you know you would the teams would then uh, independently as an individual go about looking at solutions not in your industry but in other industries of similar challenges and uh, you would come back uh, with this uh, understanding of different solutions and design so you miss, for example i want to improve communication in my business line which is in uh, say it space or it infrastructure space and you may want to look at um, how how does communication happen in an fmcg space and what can we learn from fmcg space because that is a very complex communication network or how does how does the military communicate with each other or how do how does communication happen in a social environment um, and therefore you know the learnings are then brought up as lightning demos and then uh, the whole essence of ideas is related to idea sketching so a lot of activity in the design sprint is to sketch there are various tools like uh, crazy 8 
um, you know, sketching template, concept templates, and others, which help you to just sketch, um, which is on day two. On Wednesday, which is day three, is where the teams now, uh, you know, collate all of these ideas and then figure out which of those ideas we should really join together, integrate. Uh, to create a storyboard, to, to create a solution design, which is a very top level kind of a flow of how things would really work like. Uh, on Thursday, which is day four, uh, teams would then start working towards creating the prototype, uh, wherein uh, the selected ideas are then either uh, you create a prototype in physical form if it's a product, there could be role plays, there could be uh, simulations, a wireframe and others that you would create uh, so that it's easier for you to now go ahead and test this on Friday with uh, certain interviews and um, simulations with the real time customers or real time stakeholders. So you go back to the real time stakeholders to so say, for example, uh, you are trying to gather needs from your end clients uh, for an IT development world. Uh, so you would create an interface or a process and you would take this process and do the simulation with a certain set of real-time clients or representatives of the clients. And that brings uh, brings the entire team to really uh, get a lot of quick feedback in terms of what you have developed. So otherwise, uh, what, what happens is uh, many teams, when they design a certain process, since they are involved in the design process itself, um, you you become blinded to the negative feedback that comes to you and therefore the test element on day on Friday becomes very important because you would see real-time feedback coming from stakeholders which enables you to refine it so typically this kind of a, a five-day roadmap is used in the design sprint uh, for you to uh, quickly test your solutions so multiple uses of design sprint uh, it can be used to test solutions which you already have with you. It could be used to test certain hypotheses that you are framed or assumptions that you want to really check out with your clients. You could be using it for a new product development and you want to check is that going to work or not work quickly. Uh, it could be talking about uh, collaborating with multiple team members because in a sprint you have team members coming from different organizations. Uh, for you to collaborate with those and uh, really, you know, build something new. So this in short is the overview of the design sprint kind of a journey. Uh, in, in, in the design sprint academy roadmap, what John Witten has done through his multiple engagements with clients is um, they have, we have customized the entire journey to a four day kind of a journey and uh, wherein certain stages of uh, the decide and idea are combined that is a tuesday and wednesday is combined on to day two uh, so that you have understand on day one ideate and uh, decide on day two and then uh, on day three it's prototype on day four it is test so these are the various um, you know Kind of, this is a roadmap that is used for a design sprint in particular. Any questions at this stage? You can just, uh, if there are any questions, you can type on your chat window, and uh, we could be, we, we would be really glad to respond to uh, you know your your questions. So I'm not activating your mics as such, so um, because we have multiple participants here at the moment. Uh, but if there are any questions at this stage, please do uh, type on the chat window that you have, and we would, I would really be glad to address them. Okay, great. So, but if you, uh, so I will continue to the next phase that we uh, look at uh, in our webinar is our multiple uh, examples uh, of deployment of design sprints. Uh, 
uh, that QBlue has uh, uh, really worked with organizations, uh, not only uh, you know trained the facilitators, but also uh, facilitated the entire sprint for them. Uh, it could be a four-day sprint. It, uh, sprint versions that we have with QBlue is we engage with clients could be on a two-day sprint and even a one-day uh, sprints that we have done. Uh, so I will quickly take you through some case studies on uh, design sprints, uh, which would help you to understand and assimilate the design sprint. Uh, so the first one that I will take you through is a, a sprint that we had done for Microsoft. And um, I'll just quickly take you through those and a, a few others. Uh, so that you get a, a quick view on its diverse application of Sprint in different areas. So here is a case study on the design Sprint that we conducted for Microsoft. Um, so Microsoft for Microsoft, we had a, a requirement of um, so they, they had a requirement to so they were of a, of a doing a Sparkton kind of for their sales teams team members across uh, you know, within India and also some few members coming in from international locations. Uh, so it's a, it was a sales meet and the whole objective was to, uh, to, to do a high pace sprint for around 650 odd people from sales teams uh, to work on very specific challenge areas that they had identified. So like I mentioned uh, before the sprint, there is a lot of deep dive that you need to do on the challenge areas. So multiple challenges, uh, looking at how to increase sales in certain sectors, uh, how to uh, some elements, what to do with improving the culture element, the risk taking ability and the risk averseness, and even to drive innovation within the organization, uh, within, within the sales group. So there were multiple groups uh, which were formed. Uh, in fact, if you look at, uh, there were uh, around uh, six, exact 631 employees um, and uh, 65 teams got created and they worked on around 60 problem statements, 60. And uh, we had facilitators from Microsoft and uh, around 20 coaches from QBlue uh, who participated in the sprint. So essentially there were multiple teams who were working on specific challenges and uh, we had uh, QBlue coaches or uh, sprint coaches who facilitated uh, the team members and the entire day um, was, um, so it was like a six hour kind of a sprint and, which we did um, and uh, people and, uh, and the teams worked on uh, creating solutions, designs and presenting to the stakeholders uh, at the end of the day. Uh, the various ideas and concepts that they had created. Um, so if you will see here a lot of uh, physical prototypes or service prototypes being created. Uh, so it's like a combined activity, a lot of fun, a lot of, um, you know, teamwork, a lot of, um, you know, elements of music to enable innovation to really come in. So it's, it was a combined kind of a, uh, engagement uh, from both the sides, both the, both the organizations. And uh, teams really came up with uh, multiple ideas. In fact, there were more than 1,500 probable ideas identified. Um, and the leadership then uh, reviewed the entire journey, entire, entire solution. So there were leaders, leader team, leadership team members who visited and saw the solutions and gave their feedback onto the solutions, uh, resulting into uh, you know, a lot of engagement and discovery of the challenge areas and many of the actions really got uh, you know taken up from here from the leadership identified for further development uh, so the entire engagement uh, followed a, a three step kind of a process because this was like a one day session so you could not do the uh, entire empathy and entire understand and ideate phases completely but you had the phases of discover uh, ideate and co-create so there were three stages that we uh, customized and designed it at QBlue, so we call it as the uh, uh, iSprint that we have with us, which is a three-step process, three-stage process, which can be run in, uh, in a time period of around one and a half hour each. Uh, so we facilitated that for individual groups, 
and uh, they could really find beautiful solutions to their current challenges, business challenges, all oriented towards uh, sales targets, towards measurable impact. So it's not that design, when we say design sprint or design thinking or design is something abstract. Uh, if we identify the challenges right, if we scope the challenges right and have the right team members and the right spots, they are all aligned to business logic, to business impact and the ROI that you would see. So this is one example of, uh, uh, of Microsoft Sprint that we did in very uh, you know, good feedback that we received, very positive, a lot of positive feedback that we received from participants. Um, and um, this was the overall flow as, as, as I mentioned. So you would have the kickoff by the leaders and uh, then the three phases of discover, ideate, co-create, wherein you would uh, frame the challenges, ideate for a certain period of time, and then move through the co-creation phases. So these are these multiple three-step process that we had followed for the sprint. So this is a customized sprint version. Um, we, and in, in our sprints, in the sprints, usually uh, it's, the whole focus is not on uh, learning specific tools in detail in terms of theory or deep dive. The uh, more focus is on speed, on applications of techniques to solve certain challenges. Uh, so for that, usually in a sprint, you would have a lot of use of a DIY kind of workbooks, uh, pre-designed templates, and a lot of uh, prototyping material for, uh, for people to be really creative. Uh, and come up with a lot of their ideas. So, and a very important step, as I mentioned in the design sprint is uh, the involvement of leadership uh, in terms of um, you know, support and mentoring and guiding the team members. <clears throat> so multiple outcomes that each team had is uh, you could reframe the challenge, you could identify new ideas, and each team had a roadmap for them to deploy uh, at the end of the sprint, it does not just end with some good feeling, but a very uh, specific roadmap that each team, in fact, all of the 65 teams that were participating, uh, you know, came up with uh, a very uh, focused, pointed kind of uh, objective action plan that they would really take in the coming uh, one and a half month or so for them to really implement the solutions or even further research to some part and then come up with the solution. So this was uh, one example of a design sprint uh, which we had conducted. Any questions at this stage? Uh, please do uh, please do type. I'm just taking a quick halt here to check if there are any questions that you would have. Any questions? Please do type on the chat window and we'd like to. Okay, great. Uh, a couple of others that um, I'm showcasing here is Uh, another sprint that we uh, have conducted and uh, we could facilitate uh, with a, a top five IT client of ours uh, was with the legal team. So I'm showing you applications of sprint in different areas uh, so that, uh, you know, is, sprint is not only for just the product development, it's for businesses, it's for multiple groups that you could work, including HR, legal, business processes, transformation teams. Um, and sales teams is equally applicable. So here is one uh, you know case study that talks about uh, application with the legal teams uh, of, a, of a particular IT firm. Uh, the again the requirement was there are very specific challenges that the team wanted to really address, and uh, how do we address them, and what are the probable solutions. So. The team uh, looked at very specific uh, elements on, you know, the, the overall challenges that they had where how do we coordinate better with legal team and the other compliance and special projects team because this communication usually is sometimes strained. 
and um, how do you uh, you know come up with a new design wherein uh, your legal team is seen rather is seen value adding rather than uh, being perceived as a, a team that would constrain growth or the stop a certain kind of innovation or a need within an organization or be seen as a barrier to change so how do you reposition that and how do you improve processes throughputs of the various processes in which legal team is involved because uh, you know strategic decision making is also and investments are also dependent on the legal team uh, in terms of entering into new sectors or collaborations with partners and others and uh, therefore there is very high impact of uh, speed uh, on the outcome uh, so how do you enhance this kind of uh, throughput of processes and uh, the team really got involved in the entire uh, phases of ideate co-create Uh, and understanding the challenge areas and we had blended so many of the teams we used trist techniques and lot of creativity ideation techniques of de bono of trist and lot of other sciences for you to come up with some uh, innovative idea sets and uh, the team also created uh, road map journey maps blueprints for the entire process which they could take back uh, and really test out so Uh, it was a very hands-on kind of an experience that people had, and then we supported uh, many of the teams to deploy some of these actions. So we get involved not only in the workshop but also in the uh, post-workshop deployment phases where we consult organizations to deploy them. So with that, and this is for the legal uh, team uh, that I am showing. The next one is um, for a team who is involved in. another sector here so uh, sorry uh, so another team here who is involved in a second so multiple teams and we have done exercises of design sprint for uh, even organizations like um, you know automobile sector who are uh, you who are creating Uh, electric vehicles uh, who are addressing certain challenges in autonomous vehicles mobility space um, it is also in finance in hr so uh, multiple uh, sprints uh, we are we are able to conduct in different different areas in fact uh, one of the sprints that we did was for a uh, top global automobile player uh, who who was focused on Identifying solutions for very specific, uh, you know, engineering kind of challenges. So something got to do with electric vehicles, uh, something got to do with autonomous vehicles, and very specific, uh, you know, challenges on the um, uh, on the elements like uh, sensors, uh, gear boxes. Uh, it could be transmission devices which are coming in. so a sprint is even apt for uh, these areas also okay any questions at this stage that you would want to ask questions please questions any so how does the design sprint really work so uh, what we have is uh, from q2 and design sprint academy as i mentioned we have a collaboration and uh, we run uh, sessions on design sprint master certification which is like a 5 days workshop and uh, this workshop uh, really builds uh, skills and capabilities in team members to be running the sprint in their own organization so uh, we have a workshop upcoming on design sprint which is in collaboration with design sprint academy berlin so the certification and the master certification is issued directly by dsa berlin uh, and it's a five days kind of a workshop which looks at a hands on workshop uh, which looks at uh, day 1 to 
identify the challenge areas to look at problem framing as one. So uh, how do we frame challenges? And um, so day one is all spent on how do you frame challenges and how do you uh, work towards, uh, you know, identifying the right problem. Usually people start working on sprints immediately, uh, uh, you know, defining a certain challenge and then just jump in. So day one is more to do with how do you uh, define the right challenge. And uh, the day two and day three of this design sprint workshop is design sprint academy uh, master's training workshop is focused on how do you actually conduct the sprint and you experience a sprint yourself in the two days. Of course, it's a simulated kind of a challenge area and a sprint that you would experience, but the entire four days is then uh, you know, uh, experienced as a two day kind of an entity where you would solve a certain challenge as a group. Uh, and then the next two days are uh, focused on how do you how do you build the skills on conducting sprints yourself. So you can become the trigger in your organization. You can conduct sprints by yourself, and you can you know have you can be facilitator of a sprint in your organization to solve certain challenges. So you become a change agent, and uh, you are able to manage sprints, deploy, prototype, and test. Uh, the uh, sprints and solutions within your organizations. So this is a uh, this is a, a five-day kind of a engagement uh, workshop that uh, Cubeloo is having along with DSA, and uh, we have planned this workshop uh, in uh, in February for five days, uh, and we will send you some details on that. But uh, you know, it's it, I think it's it's, it's a one-off. Kind of an opportunity because these kind of sessions are only currently being held in Europe and uh, uh, design and John Wedden and Design Sprint Academy uh, conducts uh, multiple sessions for top 50 folks organization in Europe but none of that is available here in India but this golden opportunity that I think you should all participate if you are interested in solving challenges fast for your organizations uh, testing them out ideating, uh, building skills on uh, as an individual or within a core group that you would want to take a challenge also. And many teams in our design sprint workshops, design sprint five days workshop, come as a cohort. So an organization, if interested, can uh, dominate uh, a group of people who would, who would work on their own challenge area. So need not that they, they need to present anything to the class or uh, element, but you are working on the five day session on your own challenge area so that you are able to simulate and build solutions there and there itself within the session, within the session. So you build skills and you also solve challenges. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a golden opportunity for uh, you to experience sprint yourself and see the power of sprints. So um, do join in uh, onto our uh, session, which is planned in February. And um, this should be very useful for, for the entire group, I would highly recommend. Uh, and design sprint as such uh, is a very vast topic in, in terms of applications. And uh, uh, if required, you know, if you're interested, just do drop a mail to our uh, help desk. And uh, we would uh, definitely, uh, you know, would like to share certain artifacts reading material, references for you to, uh, you know, have a look at in detail in what a design sprint is and the power of design sprints. Um, I think uh, a lot of organizations to become agile and to become innovative are using a lot of these techniques, very scientific techniques, uh, to find solutions to challenges rather than just build skills, to find solutions to business challenges in a very fast manner. And I think design sprint becomes a very important element of this entire uh, you know, toolkit or skills that we are building in. Um, any other questions, doubts at this moment that you would want to ask? Doubts, questions? Uh, design Sprint is also um, also can be integrated with your earlier journeys also 
for example uh, if you are um, doing uh, say a six sigma journey and uh, you want to accelerate the six sigma journey a typical problem in the six sigma journey occurs when you are doing the uh, the idea the ideation and uh, so in the dmag define measure analyze improve and control so when we talk about uh, analyze improve is one of the stages where a lot of difficulties are seen in terms of time so you can accelerate your improve phase and your implementation phase by using sprints to test out and validate certain ideas so it's beautifully integrating with uh, the lean six sigma journey uh, even for the design sprints uh, you can uh, for example if you are deploying agile in your organizations then many times you would want to experiment with certain client needs and uh, various scrum cycles and multiple uh, configuration of teams and a sprint would become a very high, a design sprint in particular not the agile sprint but the design sprint would become a very good uh, you know precursor before you engage with the client to understand their needs to translate that needs into what the client wants from the particular offering or from the configurations which are needed and that could be an input to the agile roadmap so it uh, it precedes any agile kind of a deployment journey path uh, so you see it the design sprint also uh, you know beautifully merges with a lean six sigma agile uh, and and if if done right it will really augment and uh, accelerate your journeys for your improvement paths great any any questions at this moment just you could just type just one or two minutes i will spend here okay so thanks so much for joining in on to our web session Uh, for an a quick introduction to design sprints uh, do write in if you require further information on our sessions on write ups on readings on design sprints and we'll be happy to reach out to you um, also if there are any questions uh, which uh, you are you know you would want to get addressed uh, please do pen those also and um, uh, do have a look at our offerings uh, on the design sprint academy the dsa masters training session which is planned for february uh, we have folks joining in uh, uh, from uh, singapore and hong kong also uh, which are uh, in uh, for this kind of a session so they are also participating and we have uh, you know they have shown a lot of interest and uh, you can also join in with your uh, a group or a cohort of five to six people when you can solve challenges uh, there and there during the workshop so great thanks for joining in and um, uh, best wishes to all of you thank you